Hello everybody, my name is King6 and I have a brand new coaching video for you. It is a bronze Warwick. Let's see how he does. Now, first off, one thing that I want to say is I don't like your starting camp. Since you're playing against an Amumu, you're pretty sure he's going to start at his blue buff. If he starts red, he's going to be super mana depleted. So what you need to do is you need to wait in this bush right here. And then around 130, you need to run out, come up here and take it. Start on his red buff, take it, leave, lay the ward there as you're leaving. And then just come out blue grunt come down to your red and then gank but the thing is starting red is really wasteful because if Mumu does start in this area you can fuck him up anyways and you really just need to assert yourself over him this is a start you would do if you were a bad early game jungler warwick is a very strong early game jungler so somebody just blew their hill looks like you're waiting for the leash you get your leash never do raptors after red buff they take too long there's too many of them and you lose too much health if you are going to start red buff, go wolves into blue buff. It'll give you level 3 and you'll be should be full HP. And Warwick just needs double buffs and level 3 to start ganking. Raptors takes too much health and too much time. So now you're going to do your blue. At this point, there's no reason to do Gromp. You need to come out here and take Scuttle. The Scuttle right here goes to the strongest jungler. So right now, that's what you should be doing. If a Mumu comes, you can fuck him up. Now that you're doing this, if a Mumu does go for Scuttle, he'll get it for free, and you don't want him to get that. That's a lot of free gold you're giving away there. Okay, Gromp. Luckily, Scuttle is still up. Now you need to be looking for a gank or go to his red buff. You can't gank top because it's pushed. Mid's pushed, but you should keep your eye out for this. You might be able to gank it. Try to figure out if he's on his red buff. Whenever you're playing against a weak early game jungler like this, it's more important to ward their jungle than it is to... This is more of a defensive ward. You would want to get vision of his buff. You, this isn't gankable. Diana's low on health. Well, she's halfway done on health. And she's pushed into her turret. So don't even waste your time here. Just go do your wolves. Get 1,050 gold so you can buy your team at. And then that should be good. How much gold do you have? So at this point, you need one more camp to get team at. Every single one of your lanes pushed, not much you can do about that. You should be able to go back and get team at now. Very good. You also got a control ward, which is also very good. Take raptors, smart. This ward isn't necessarily the best against them. A Jin and Braum is typically going to outpush the Sona like you see here. You'd want to hold on to this ward to solo dragon with or wait till you're gonna gain because the only way they're gonna destroy this ward is if Braum and Jin back, and then in which case they won't be able to be here to contest it anyways, and we'll just get broken. So I would honestly just hold on to that. I realize you're trying to do it to help them, but a move we can't really gank early game anyway, so it's whatever. Right now you need to be prioritizing getting level six to start ganking because your lanes are shoving in really hard. So you need to be soloing dragon or getting level six. Right now you're doing a lot of running back and forth. I'll pick up Scuttle right here. It's a lot of free gold. It also should be level two. Yeah. Okay, you saw Mumu over in this area and his blues coming up. Classic low elo. He's not respecting his own buffs. So you should take this. I don't like you using your E so much. Whenever you're clearing these camps, try not to use your E. Because if someone comes in on you now, you can't fear them away, and you'll take a lot of damage. Against these camps, your Q and your auto attack should keep you on pretty much full health. So there's really no point in wasting your E. Alright, we get his blue buff. And you're going to run away. That's respectable. I probably would have stayed and taken another camp and then ran away since this plant is up. But you're playing it safe. Since you did get his blue buff, that's going to put him really far behind. Now, whenever a teammate dies, you need to see where they die. A move ganks mid. You're coming here now. Your ultimate isn't up, so it's not like you can really kill her. Flash. It was close. You honestly would have had her. Whenever you flashed right here, she's running away, and you didn't Q through her. You just queued onto her. Whenever someone's running away from you, hover your mouse cursor over them, and then once you're in range to Q, just hold it down. And then you'll go, sh you'll go bloop, you'll go straight through them and you'll be behind them. And then you can get off a few more auto attacks. You probably would have had the kill there. You're level six. I would probably ult her under turret when my E comes up. So 
so that way I don't take too much turret damage. Level six, you see the vein. That's not a good gank because you don't know if she has ult or what's up. So she's gonna get away here, yeah. Don't waste your time going to a lane unless you know you can get a kill. Especially in lower elo. You should be farming, and if you think you can get a kill, then go for the gank. The vein comes, you end up having to ult away. I probably would have ulted onto her since you have red buff and she's not fed or anything. I guess the dragon kind of spooked you. Ah, oh, it's a shame. I wouldn't have chased the Sona. Sona's already so far away. In that case, you want to help out your teammates. You see, you're spending, well, a big thing I'm seeing is you're spending too much time in areas where you can't do anything. Look at your health, look at your mana. You don't have flash or ultimate, so in reality, you can't do anything. What you should be doing is doing your golems, raptors, and working your way up until your ultimate is off a of cooldown. Because right now you're just wasting a bunch of time putting yourself and your teammates behind taking blue buff that's good getting some vision diana's pushed up to turret your ultimate is up so this is a good time to gank you also have your slow on your smite just come up behind her this should be free okay so she came to you activating your e is fine q through her good you already slowed her. She's slowed. You're behind her. All you have to do is auto attack her. Wait till she uses a flash or tries to get away or she's out of your range and then ult her. But you immediately ult her when you're behind her, which is bad because she was already slowed and you were behind her. So you could have auto attacked her for free. Your ultimate, not only does it suppress, but it also makes you move a distance really quickly. So you also want to use it as a gap closer. You're already right on top of her and behind her. So you can still auto attack her. No point in using your ult there. Now you should use it. So you should have been auto attacking her. You're right here. She's right here hitting her. Then she would have gotten really long health flashed. And then you would have ulted into her. That way she can't dodge your ult. Now that your bot lane is pushed up so far. I see a moon was here. You could come up here to stop Diana whenever she comes back from killing them. Or you can solo dragon. Okay, you get the dragon, your teammates overstay. Looks like they are gonna go down. Don't fuck around here, there's too many of them. You, there's not much you can do, just go farm. Or shove out mid, that works too. Diana comes back, so now you need to get back and farm or recall and get items. Your team isn't, your team's actually fairly tanky. You could get away with going warrior on Warwick. Since you are lower elo and trying to learn him though, you should probably stick with Cinder Hulk. Okay, you activated E way too soon. You were over here, she was over here. You activated E before you were even in flash range, which is really bad because since you activated it, it forced you to use your flash even though you're already moving quickly because she's low on health. You're gonna get free movement speed. So you basically wasted flash instead of just running her down and then activating E. Go through her, get the double fear, good. You got your red buff on him. Ult, that wasn't a bad ultimate. It was a little bit soon since you had red buff and you'd already had him slowed. It was a little bit too soon. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Your team's not really working too well together as a whole. Let's see what you buy. Okay, so you got your Cinder Hulk now. And after the Cinder Hulk, you bought a Null Magic Mantle and a Ruby Crystal. You really want to go ahead and get boots of speed at least. After your Cinder Hulk, you're moving too gosh darn slow right now at 335. After you have a full Cinder Hulk and you have your team at, so after you have your team at and your Cinder Hulk, always get boots of speed and then typically try to upgrade them into boots of mobility, ninja tabbies, or merc treads, just depending on what the enemy team has. Your ultimate isn't up, so you really shouldn't be going for a gank right now. Focus on farming and vision whenever your ultimate is down. You use E, you block a little damage. Now that your E is down, you don't really have an engage tool since your ultimate's also down. No point in really chasing them, just back out. Should probably get Harold right now. Since enemies are all running away, I'd probably take Harold. You see how you find yourself 
like your ultimate isn't up, your flash isn't up, and your ultimate now is up, but it wasn't. And you're just kind of, you walked around this whole area. You spent probably 30 seconds just doing nothing because you felt like I'm the jungler, I need to be helping. But whenever your abilities aren't up, your ult's down, your flash is down, and the enemies aren't really out of position, there's nothing you can do. Best thing you can do is take scuttles, farm, get vision, that's it. I guess I should dive the Sona. You're full HP pretty much. Brom's full HP. Well, not anymore. Alright. Unfortunately, you didn't get any assists during that. I guess you were there for moral support though. I would like to see you take the Herald while all these shenanigans were happening. You see Diana coming in. Your smite's up. Your ultimate's up. I would finish this first. I would auto attack Q... Q smite. We're really late on your smite. Remember, whenever you're trying to outsmite somebody, use your Q first, then smite, because your Q has a slight delay before the damage actually happens. So auto attack, Q smite, and you should be able to outsmite pretty much anybody. At this point, you should ult her immediately, or at least Q her to get some healing. You fear, then you ult. In that case, since you did your fear first, don't immediately ult her while she's feared because you wasted a lot of your fear duration. It doesn't stack. So let's say she's feared for one second. And if you ult her immediately, well, she was only feared for like 0.1 second because you didn't let the fear last for very long. So now you're fighting her with no E, no ultimate. I feel like she probably could have killed you, but she kind of panicked. Luckily, you do get the kill. You need to work on that smiting though. Kind of freaked out. Turn on the Amumu. Good job. Stay on him. Whenever you're fighting someone like that, try to stay in the bush because he is in it and you're outside of it. Because what can happen is in between your auto attack, if he hasn't hit you yet, you'll lose vision of him and it will cancel your auto. So whenever someone's in a bush, try to stay in the bush with them and hit them. Because if you're on that side of it, you can lose vision of them a lot of the time. You're low on health and shit. Only Diane is alive, so you can probably take this turret and then back off. No point of pushing it any further. Blue buff, that's fine. Okay, so we finally have Boots of Speed. A little bit late on that purchase. Gonna come mid. Our ultimate isn't quite up yet. Who are you gonna ult? You should just ult away at this point. You went in on a bad fight. Whenever you're in a situation where they're chasing you down and there's an enemy here, so you can use the Herald and Q through it to get away from them. So you're right here. Instead, you flashed when queuing through it would have done the same thing. Gonna save yourself a flash. Vayne out of position. Good ult on your part. That's what you need to be doing. Finding picks with your ult. I chased her down since she's so low. Smart move, my man. Good choice. She was so low and out of position. Good free kill. Amumu goes in. I would have gotten him a little sooner. Good job killing him though. Chase a little bit too far because you really wanted that Amumu. Not the worst thing in the world. At least you got the kill. You guys are actually really far ahead. The fed, most fed person on your team is probably the Jin. So you guys should really be playing around him right now. So Jin's over here. So you should be top lane with your team. Yeah, look at that. He One auto did 600 damage. That's a lot of damage. Especially at this point in the game where people, your mid laner, that would have been half her health. You guys need these minions back here. Amumu is dead, so is Vayne. If I were you, I would have called a Baron. If you're not comfortable with your smiting abilities like with what I saw with that Diana, I wouldn't call for the Baron, but whenever the enemy jungler is dead, plus another one, 20 minutes into the game, this should be a free Baron. I'm not quite sure why you're coming over here. If I guess you're coming to push bot lane. Okay, so right now is a really bad time to come farm jungle. Two of them on the enemy team are dead. If anything, you want to go do Baron now. Amumu is alive, but you have two levels on him, so you should easily build out Smite him, especially with your Q Smite. Right now, since two of them are dead, and you have minions pushed up into their turrets, you should be over here helping your team right now. Only time you farm jungle is when your ultimate's down, your flash is down, or you can't get any kills or take objectives. You have free objectives sitting right here. 
your teammates that start to back off you're not with them they realize they can't do anything you're going to come over here push this in your ultimate is up now you shouldn't be here right now all the enemies are alive and it's just you and braum i would just back out there's no point staying here 2v5 you're my way get out your ultimate's up i would go in on the vein right about now i would just alter Whenever you have the opportunity to ult the enemy ADC and your team's behind you, do it. Alright, you get the Diana. I'm glad you didn't go farm camps now. You got two of them killed. Get the inhibitor and then go straight for Baron. Two of them are dead. And you got two inhibitors and they're shoved in. You guys could easily take Baron now. Looks like you guys decide you don't want Baron. You're just going to try to end the game, which I don't think is the right move. You don't have enough minions and there's still several of them alive. Let's see if you can end it though. All right. You guys are far enough ahead that you can do it. If you guys weren't 32 to 12, you definitely should have gone for the Baron. For example, if the kills were even and they were just as strong as you, I definitely would have gone for Baron. But since you were so far ahead, staying was the right choice. I didn't take that into account. And that is the game. This was really one-sided. Holy fuck. You guys send me replays. Make sure the game's a little bit closer because pretty much what happened in this game is bot lane won all by itself. Top lane won all by itself. And I don't... I wouldn't say that mid lane won all by itself, but she definitely did extremely well. So when you send me something, make sure it's a close game, either a close win or a close loss and try to make sure it's a ranked game. All right, I'm gonna go over a few things that I saw you do poorly or that you need to improve on. The first, the biggest thing is whenever you're playing against someone like a Mumu where you can easily predict that they're gonna start their blue buff, make sure you solo invade at the red buff like with what I explained. If you don't understand it, just look up one of my countless guys on Warwick on how to solo invade. I would go into great detail on how to do it and how it works. So in, you should start as red, gone to blue, gromp. But if you are going to start at your red because you're afraid of the enemy jungler, if it's someone like a cane who does his raptors instantly and can come to his red before you can even finish it, in that case, then sure, start red, you get your leash. Never do raptors right after your first buff because they take too long on Warwick and they don't give you enough experience to justify it. You could easily go red, wolves, blue, and be level three with double buffs and be full HP and do it very quickly. That would be the best thing to do. At that point, you came out here. You actually didn't come out here. Then you did Grump, even though you're level three with double buffs. You should come out here, get Scuttle, get Vision on when the move was red. He's a slow clear. He probably would have been in the middle of doing it and you could fuck him up really bad and kill him. Probably take it from him since it isn't a Moomoo. Remember that whenever you're playing an early game jungler, the scuttles that's your job to take them you can't let tank jungles like a moon get a scuttle that's that's your territory another thing i saw was here for example mid you were behind diana you q through her which was great you feared her you were right here she was like right here you're hitting her and then you just ulted her there was no reason you're already behind her and she has to walk through you to get away get off your free auto attacks make her flash or try to get away first and then ult her probably the biggest mistake i see at a low elo junglers is whenever you were level six and up a lot of times your ultimate would be down you wouldn't even have flash and you would keep going in for these really awkward ganks where you're not even coming in behind them and you're wasting your own time your laners weren't even here and you're coming for the gank don't do that just farm your camps get scuttle wait for the gank at that point but whenever your ultimate's down and you're not coming in behind the enemy, that's not a good gank. The only time you can do that is if you see the enemy jungler coming and you know it's going to be a 2v1, so you're coming to make it a 2v2. That's the only time that's okay. The last thing I'll say is with your items, never, ever start building other items besides Boots of Speed after you get your Cinder Hulk. You really need Boots of Speed as soon as possible right when you get your Cinder Hulk or preferably sooner. Also, Red Smite's better than Blue Smite right now, just a heads up. You're pushed into their towers up here and several of them are dead. Help your teams take the towers and inhibitors. Don't just go mindlessly farm jungle. Also, if enemy jungler is dead plus another person 20 minutes into the game, you can go Baron and take it quite easily. Other than that, it was well played. If any of you want your replays coach, look down in the description below for pricing and details. Also, thank you guys so much for the 20,000 subscribers. That's absolutely amazing. I'm probably going to be doing 
a RP giveaway or account giveaway. I haven't decided yet. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Kingsticks, and I'll catch you guys next time.